Hydrate practice part two. The alum used in cooking is potassium aluminum sulfate hydrate, or KALSO42, with some number of water molecules. To find the value of X, you can heat a sample of the compound to drive off all the water and leave only KALSO42. Assume you heat 4.74 grams of the hydrated compound and that the sample loses 2.16 grams of water. What is the value of X? Let's look at the information they gave us here. We have 4.74 grams of a hydrated compound, so I'm going to write that down. So our hydrate is 4.74 grams and that the sample loses 2.16 grams of water. So our water is 2.16 grams. We need to take the difference of this because when we do a hydrate problem, there's two pieces of information that we need. We need the mass of the water and the mass of the anhydrate. Right now we just have the mass of the water. So if I subtract 4.74 grams from 2.16 grams, I get 2.58 grams of anhydrous salt. The next thing I'm going to do is take this mass of water and convert it into moles. So 2.16 grams of H2O, multiplication sign in a line. I know that there's 18 grams of water in one mole of water. So one mole of H2O. And like usual, I am going to check that my units cancel. So grams of water cancels grams of water. 2.16 times one divided by 18 gives me 0 0.12 moles of H2O. So the first thing, again, after we find the difference here, is converting our mass of water into moles of water. The next step is going to be taking this mass of anhydrous salt and converting it into moles of anhydrous salt. So 2.58 grams of KALSO42 and convert that into moles. So one mole KALSO42 and the gram formula mass of KALSO42 is 258 grams. So again, I'm going to check that my units cancel. Grams cancel grams. So 2.58 times one divided by 258, that gives me for an answer of 0 0.0099 moles of AL. KSO42, not the easiest formula to write. My next and final step is going to be taking my moles of water, moles of water, and dividing it by the moles of the anhydrous salt. So if I plug my numbers in here, I'm going to have 0 0.12 moles of water divided by 0 0.0099 moles of the anhydrous salt. And when I do that, I get the number 12. I get the number 12. So the final formula for this particular hydrated salt is going to be KALSO42.12 H Two, oh, so this X right here is represented by the 12 that we calculated right here.